to tell the lie. Uh, some of the things that are unique to her is she designs her own solids, such as this background, as well as her smaller print fabrics. For those of us that enjoy Tilda, you will probably be well aware that it is very difficult to find a solid that coordinates with her line for a couple of reasons. First of all, because this fabric is from Norway, they use a different gray goods than what we get here in America. Gray goods meaning the fabric that is dyed or the dye is placed upon gives it a different hand or feel. And these are unique and proprietary to her. So um, it is really essential that you use the coordinates and the solids that coordinate with her line to get the perfect project that you are looking for. Uh, another thing that is unique to her is Tuna is fanatical about her quilting. Um, she prides herself in the unique features, which also brings out some of her colors, some of her whimsical properties, but it is done, for example, with some of the, the fine quilting that she has. The quilting here on this snowman quilt is exquisite. It gives it a little bit of a definition as well as a dimension, which kind of highlights her lines. Currently in uh, the sewing room, Lena and her gals have done an excellent job. She has the Maple Farms collection that just landed, I think about a week to 10 days ago. That is the latest and greatest. Something that uh, Tuna did uh, for part of our pandemic response is normally she would release four collections per year because she is not traveling and may not do so for a while depending on our restrictions. She went to three collections per year, which for those of us that love her fabric might help us catch up a little bit on some <laughs> of our unfinished projects. Um, for example, the Maple Farms, which just arrived, will be her January collection. The next collection will be Garden Life, which comes out uh, mid-summer. And then the following collection will be Windy Days, which will be the final collection for this year, will release in October. Before we begin, let's take a moment and we'll pan over to some of the other quilts that are in this truck show if Kathy can help us. Here we go. One of the things that Tuna is known for is she likes to coordinate. So not only does she have the pretty solids and the prints, she comes up with ribbons. She comes up with some very cute buttons that are, in my opinion, critical to some of her projects. It just gives it a little added detail and makes our efforts as quilters um, worth it. The ribbons are here. Lena has a great selection for you and they can be added or any other project that you have a need for them. So again, here are some quilts. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to let you know of, and I'm sure that Lorraine has told you, the majority of Tuna's patterns are free on her website. Um, one of the reasons that she did this was because her fabrics are unique. Um, she wanted the chance to let us, her end users, know what she had in mind when she designed the fabrics. It was something that uh, meant a lot to her. Um, as a quilter, I know that we all look for inspiration. So kind of a fun way for us to benefit of her talent as a designer and bring it into our everyday quilting. This right here is the Maple, just make sure I got the right collection here, the Maple Farms collection. And as you can see, again, it's a little bit of a muted feel, but yet with a little bit of whimsy. She has done, um, the truck show came with this really cute child apron, as well as her critters, which she is known for. She has a cow, she has an elephant, she has um, a little angel girl, she has a Santa, which isn't necessarily what we in America think is a Santa. To me, it looks like a sleeping grandpa. Um, a little, a little um, older gentleman, but yet it's that whimsical things that really bring her fabric 
and details to life. Um, this is a really cute example of a, looks like a tree skirt that is used. Um, many of us have made the jelly roll rugs and kind of a variation on that. She does have books that she has combined some of her patterns. And when I spoke to her the last quilt market that we had, she said she did it because she didn't want us to run out of ideas. <laughs> so she was a very thoughtful designer in doing that and helping us um, grow our own creativity and to maybe think outside the box or our comfort zone a little bit. A newer um, fabric that she came up with is chambray. When I felt this originally, it felt like a shirting type. It's got a, again, an awesome hand for a solid. It does have a little bit of a texture in it, uh, but it does read more solid than as a print. Uh, Lena got these in. There are a few more colors, I believe, that are on the way as well. So a great addition to her line. Um, Lorraine here has made some great examples of some baskets where she has coordinated several of the fabrics, uh, a great use of the Tilda fabric line as well. The Tilda fabric does not have to be used only in a quilting project. She has, um, in my opinion, done a great job for those of us that might be in a little bit of a time crunch made some smaller projects. For example, this could be a small table topper. This pattern is available on her website. I'm sure Lorraine could help us um, get that pattern, as well as the tractor, probably my favorite print from the, or fabric, sorry, my favorite design of the Woodlands is the tractor. The overall, here's a, kind of hidden in the blue colorway, and then in a little bit of a salmon colorway. Um, a very cute, whimsical um, design to use her maple farms. Of course, the duck is great um, with his little swimming feet and um, really is some great things. If some of her designs, she rates them, just so you're aware of, she has a challenge, which would be your most difficult, um, level of a pattern and then a moderate and then she doesn't really put any easy ones out however your first pattern that you do from her they are extremely well written she puts a lot of time and effort into her directions she has several people test the patterns prior to her publishing them so um, I am confident that you will have success if you just take the time to read the instructions and you've got a great resource of Lorraine here who has all the tips and tricks that you might need. Um, another thing that she has done for us collectors that like a little bit in our stash is she has done some pre-cuts, which um, one of the things that I've enjoyed doing is on her animals, for example, there is a version of this that you can make in a solid color. The smaller pre-cuts would be a great way to dress him up, change some outfits, put some clothes on. A great project for a grandchild um, who wanted something that was unique and also would be an heirloom treasure. This example here is of her buttons. She has taken her smaller print designs, used them as embellishments on her buttons, a great way to add another dimension to your project. Lena has done an excellent job. She has all of Tuna's books, some um, patterns, just to kind of get your creative juices flowing a little bit. One of the things that um, I will not share because it's not my secret to divulge, is that I have seen an upcoming project and it think outside of the box of a quilting project. Uh, excellent use of the Tilda fabric. And I think that as club members, you will be very surprised and pleased with that project. Finally, this is another part of the collection of Woodland. Um, it is this great little character here. Uh, the foxes and the rabbits. It is something that 
really is looks difficult, but it's very simple to piece. Again, the quilting makes everything pop. If you are someone who does your own quilting, an excellent opportunity to get some ruler work in, if you so choose. Here are some examples of her little critters. We have the deer. Uh, the cow is very similar with different horns and some of her dolls. Um, this is her mice or mouse, I believe. So uh, small projects. Again, a little bag made out of just simple, probably three inch squares cut down. A uh, fun way to just do something a little bit different, but yet with fabric that's just an absolute joy to work with. So all of these projects are here. Uh, Lena and the shop will have them through February 6th. I encourage you to come down, see them in person. I think your ideas will be flowing with that. Um, is there any questions that have come up that I could possibly? Nope. Excellent. So um, I'm not sure if I've covered everything that you want me to cover. I think so. Um, is there any, um, can you tell us about the manufacturing process? Um, like you said that the, so is it, are they designed and printed in Norway and shipped or is there another contractor in the process? No, we, everything is done in Norway. Uh, it's something that allows Tuna Hat to have control um, so the gray goods are purchased there and then we receive them from her uh, versus a cargo ship. Um, there is a new designation, which I'm going to botch the term. It's, it's some kind of an ecological um, certificate they got for her fabrics. Or is it Orotex? Yes, Orotex is that. And basically what that does is they have raised their standards so that they are compliant with that so that they are leaving a smaller footprint in our world which is always a good thing so um very forward thinking for her and her organization it is something that apparently takes about two years to get this certificate from start to finish to complete so uh from Maple Farms, they had some of the fabrics, but the new Woodland collection is all with that certificate, which is um, great. And I think we're gonna see more fabric manufacturers rise to the occasion for that. Um, part of the reason it, it takes a little bit longer is because it is manufactured in Norway, but um, because of her design style, because of her unique talent, it was also a very smart decision on her part so that she can make sure that what we receive is excellent quality, um, worth the time that we invest it when we make our projects, whatever they may be, and to just get a small glimmer into her imperfect world. 